newspapers in one day. They called me, they say we have this high cause and we, we can't keep you anymore. See, as you can see that neighbors, they don't have any rights. If a political decision is taken that this, this person is misbehaved, they can punish you in every possible way. Actually, I'm not the only case. Hundreds of people lose their jobs in Bahrain every day because they participate in the, in the movement, the, the, the last COVID. Sorry, my English is not that good, but I will try to pass the message. Uh, as bloggers, as a journalist, we pay uh, the price of speaking loud in a very high I don't think any American citizen can understand what I'm saying. If we say one word uh, that they consider wrong, they could punish you in every possible way. They could punish you, they could punish your family, they will hunt you everywhere. I'm now out of Bahrain because I was threatened every single day in the last three months. My house has been attacked three times. They tried to burn with my family in. Uh, they didn't manage it. We, we quickly, the neighbors noticed only cars been burned. But uh, my, my brothers were hunted in their jobs. They were punished because of their sisters. My sister had been arrested for 50 days as a punishment to me to force me to stop talking, stop writing. And, and my reputation has been sabotaged in the, in the net. They write all this kind of story, wrong stories about my personal life. And it's like the witch hunt in the 16th century. It's enough that somebody say that this girl is not good, everybody will believe him. We are in a very conservative uh, society. And it's not, it's, it's not something easily taken to say that this girl has a relationship with a man or, you know, um, she has many boyfriends or something. And they don't have to give a proof. They just have to say it. And at least 90% of the community will believe it. Uh, I'm not actually the only one who suffers from that. There was college girls. They were in the, uh, they, they participated in, in the movement. They go to the water. Look, look. What they did is that they published their names. They published their phone numbers, and they called them prostitutes. And they put uh, details. Uh, I'm telling you, some of the girls brought you know, uh, people. Uh, so I supported them, and because I supported them, I had to be punished. And uh, that applied to everyone. And I came here to America with this wish to, to, when we go to the, to, to meet some of uh, high, uh, yeah, Department of State. And I told them, they, they actually know about it. They know all the details. So they know that the doctor, the, the writers, everybody. But they see that uh, Bahrain government, we have this, uh, liars of relationship with them, we can't, you know, conflict with them. Uh, I, 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 I know my time is up, but I want to say something. I feel that the Bahrain Revolution has suffered the most unjust view from all of the revolution in Arab world. Everybody looked to Egypt and to Tunis and to Syria now because they don't like the Syria regime, so everybody is threatening them. But with Bahrain, because it's an oil country, having all those armies and Saudi is with them and all the countries are united with them, and they have the media, they have the power, Everybody is looking the other way when it comes to Bahraini people. And because of that, because nobody is talking enough about us, we are being crushed every day. Just today, before I come here to the panel, I received the news. Uh, this news is about three ladies. I don't know if you heard about them. All what they did is, because they are taking many members of the family, they go to the UN, uh, UN building and they stand there. They took them to jail. But ju just because they stand there asking for their rights. 
I don't know how can we act with such a regime and with such a world that only look to people with power, people with no power or with no connection. I don't. They look to them like they don't have the right to live or to ask for their rights. Thank you.